Okay, I'm in Maze Cave, Lava Beds National Monument. It's November uh, 8th, 2016. I just signed in at the cave registry. That's where I am right now. I'm gonna go ahead and... I've never been in this cave before and I don't have a map of the cave. So, but there are trails. So I'm basically gonna stick to the trails here. Avoid anything. Getting too lost. So, wow. So there's a trail here on the side. Notice there's that uh, gold stuff, just like in a Golden Dome cave here. So again, that's caused by hydrophobic bacteria. Oh wow, this is really well preserved. So check it out. So the, this is like a pillar, right? The lava flow to either side. But here it hasn't been trampled by people crawling through. So you see the flow marks. Obviously I'm facing up cave right now. And it's pretty rough, very rough surface. Both the ceiling and the floor. And of course, there's some of that hydrophobic bacteria in there. Well, that was interesting. Interesting how it looks like part of the ceiling fell down here, just part way. Okay, this is a warm cave. Oh wow, look at this. There's like serious um, side passages here. And then look at this, there's like a cave up there, side passage up there. I'm not gonna be ambitious. I'm gonna just stay to the main tubes here. I heard it's, you know, pretty big complex anyway. So I'm not gonna wear myself out being too ambitious. Maybe I'll come back another time. So it was really wide here, but the ceiling fell down. So the trail is on the left side here. Lots of that gold colored bacteria. I wonder how many entrances this has because there's a what's it called I felt a really strong wind coming out of the entrance so when you have a wind coming out of the entrance like that it's the caves either got to have another entrance or it's really big so far I lean towards really big yeah just looking back the way I came wow I'm on top of the breakdown rock I think I'm about to a dead end not really sure. It's weird. There's obviously a trail here, but the trail to where? If it gets too small, I'm gonna quit. I'm not prepared to. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to take off my backpack so I'll fit through here better. But right now I'm leaning towards not going much further. I don't feel any wind coming through here either. That's what's weird. So where's all that? I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna fit through there. Wow, really shiny bacteria. There's somebody's litter. I'm not gonna pick up that litter for them. I don't really have a way to haul that out. Wow, it's really shiny down there. Oh, wow. You know what, I do need to get a closer look. All right, where's my backpack? I need to keep it with me. It has my spare flashlights. Cave like this. I wouldn't want to be caught without a flashlight. It would be somewhat tricky. Wow. I was gonna... You look down ahead there, it's really shiny gold. Like in Golden Dome Cave. There's obviously a way to squeeze through there and go to a lower level. <sighs> but it looks too hard for me to try today. I, I don't feel like going down there. I'm gonna go back and try that third way to the lower level of this cave. Wow. crazy. I don't know how people explore really long caves like those salt caves or whatever. 
lots and lots of equipment, lots and lots of muscles. breakdown here I can tell by the gaps in the rock the actual cave floor has got to be you know at least four feet below us or something oh darn it my flashlights we had a piece of junk okay there we go push button a little seat too sensitive if I bump at it like acts like I tried to change modes fortunately it comes with a bunch of irrelevant modes like SOS yeah anyway Yeah, it's really cool over there. I bet that's a pillar. I bet I could crawl through there, but I'm not gonna damage the cave by going that way. I'll just go back on the trail. It's cool how many pillars are in the caves here at Lava Beds. Whoa, check this out. There's a crack in the floor. So where I'm standing, there's dirt, right? So you don't even notice the crack, right? But if you look over there, you can see the crack is easily three or four feet deep. Same thing, you follow the same crack over here. It's not full of trash or litter or dirt, so it's got to be three or four feet deep. That's a good thing about a preserve cave. You have a lot of people coming in here. I mean, you know, just unavoidable. Bringing in dust or dirt, it's going to fill up. I'm surprised it hasn't already, actually. I already looked up here before. If I was feeling ambitious, I could probably crawl, climb on the rock and get up there, but I don't want to damage the cave and I don't want to hurt me either. Cool, this is technically a little lava fall right here. Real small, like one foot high or less. Still technically. A... So man, you imagine when this is forming, when this is liquid, there's like a solid rock there and then liquid magma, lava flying over or floating, flowing over it. So this is a very turbulent place. Wow, crazy. So there's where I signed in. There's that other side passage I saw that I said I'm not gonna bother to crawl through. Obviously it doesn't go anywhere, I haven't already been. Okay, see if I can look up here without getting too close. Oops, let me pan up, pan the camera up. Yeah, so there's all sorts of stuff over there. Well, I haven't seen any bats yet in this cave, which I, like I said, I don't expect because it's pretty warm for a bat. It's so warm in this cave, it's crazy. 